Hi everyone, welcome to Geotech. So in this video, we're going to be looking at um, CIE, Cambridge, IGCC, ICT, Paper 3, May, June 2021, fourth variant. Okay, so let's quickly dive into data analysis. That's five data analysis. You're going to use a spreadsheet to list properties in Bali that match the location and room type, room type entered by the user. Open and examine the files. J2131 homes.cmv, CSV, and J2131 rate.csv in a spreadsheet package. So um, I'm just going to extract it. So right click, click on extract all, extract. So if you don't know how to extract, now you do. Okay, so I'm going to open it. Homes. Okay. Okay. I think this is going to be a hitch lookup or something. I don't know. Let's check. Wait. Oh, this will be the V lookup. Um, in a special package, row 2 in the file J2131 homes. Row 2, okay, contain the location of the properties, and row 3 contains the names, location of the properties, and three names of properties. This file will be used to provide data for your spreadsheet and must not be changed. Open the file. Open and examine the file. J2131 list. Okay. Okay, I think this is what we'll be using to do the work. All right. Data has been placed into cell B4. Cell B4, yes, okay. And B5 to help you test your model, okay. To help you test your model, um, place in the header left aligned. So let me go to the header in the list, click on inserts. Click on header left align the text list prepared by copy. followed by space your name. EN 0117, 2023. Center of account number, then a space followed, then on a space as well to this date. Okay. Remember, this is going to be left in the header left aligned. Save this as a spreadsheet with the file name. J2131 BH8 underscore center number candidate number. Click on views, click on normal, click on file, click on savers. Okay. Center number for me is AN. 017 underscore 23. I'm going to save this as a spreadsheet. Okay. All right. Format the spreadsheet to look like this. Format the match cell A1 and B1 to contain. So I'm going to format it A1. OK, 
Okay, click on Home, Center. Okay, to continue what? Twenty-eight. I think I hear see white on a black background. Not only that, it's also bolded. And I think this is sans serif. Yes. Okay, it is center aligned. Be sure. This as well, center line. Two. Okay. Okay, let me see. Think we still need to make it 14. Think 40 work best. Yeah, I think 14 is good. List of suitable is messed also. And bolded. Okay. Alright, so let's... Uh, Seven marks, guys. So if they function in cell B7, B7, which depending on the room, room type, look up for the name of person from the file J2131 with the CSV. So obviously, the room type is going to be the lookup value. So depending on the look, the room type, right? So we're going to have a, a VLOOKUP, VLOOKUP, the lookup value is going to be this, comma, table array is going to be from the file J2131 weights, to look for what? Numbers of persons. Okay, comma, the second column, comma, and we need an exact match. So it can be zero, it can be false, whichever one works. So for this, the location is this, the room type, type is this, name of person is this. Okay, and that's five marks, guys. Enter a function in cell B8. Okay. Display with that breakfast is provided using the file j2131 read it's also going to be a vlookup from here comma table array is going to be this Comma, this is going to be one, two, three, four. The fourth column, comma, going to be an exact match. In cell B10 to B15, okay, display the names of all properties. In the location entered in B4. By the user. 
if there are less than six properties available in that location sales not displaying property displaying a property name should be blank enter a formula in b10 that displays the first property and then replicate this formula into okay okay so um, okay um so <clears throat> i'm just trying to um know what to do i know it's it definitely going to be um looking at this file it's going to be h to cop so um, it's going to be the name of properties which is name of properties here <clears throat> you know what is here okay um of all properties in the location entered in b4 by the user if there are less than six properties available in that location Cells not displaying property name should be blank. Enter a formula in cell B10 to display the form for property, the first property. So let's let's see what we can do to make sense of all this. So the first thing I do is equals to if now why is it if it said if there are less than six properties in that location, cells not displaying the property name should be blank. Okay. So this simply means um, if okay, H lookup the lookup value is going to be this comma the table array in the other hand I'm just going to select everything. Comma and it's going to be right here, okay, which is A10. Which is, uh, yeah, A10. Plus one. So if this is equals to zero, the look of value is this. Um, Is equals to zero. So um, it's going to be an exact match. Okay. You know. So if this is equals to. Okay. Not going to work. Okay, so if he look up this, um, is equals to zero, then you display a blank. It should be blank, right? The property name should be blank. Okay. Else, we're going to have cash lookup. Right here.
8n plus 1 is going to be an exact match. Okay. So obviously I had to close the circle. Now I'm going to explain this so you know what I'm talking about. Um, now, what I'm going to do is, if I drag this, I want to see what happens. It shows NA. Now, this simply means that we have it in B5. Okay, so um, I'm going to make this an absolute because I don't want it to move. I just want it to look for it there. And I'm going to explain this whole process. Okay. Now, if I drag this. So, okay, let me just see some of it is. Okay, it's still not working, and I know why it's not working. Okay, so obviously, we have to make this as well. Because this is actually moving to Q and doesn't recognize Q. So, alright. Now, if we drag this, now we have empty. And I'm going to explain what I just did. Now, I know you're confused. I promise to explain it, and I'm doing that right now. Now, I'm going to go back to Chris. They said cell B10. Now, they said to display the names of all properties in B4. Okay, this is the name of the location. We want to know the properties. Now, they said if there are less than six properties in that location, and there are less than six because we only have five, right? Um, it should display, it, it should be blank. This simply means that for it to be blank, it has to be if this H lookup is equals to zero. Right, it should be blank. Else, the first value is going to be something has. Now you're asking, why am I using a ten, and why am I using plus one? Let's go back to the home. Now, we we have no issue with the lookup value because obviously this is the lookup value. Now, the reason why we're using plus one is this. Now, it looks for this. And we need to do an auto increment. Now, if we don't increment it, let me show you. If we don't increment it, what happens? Let me just take off the one. Look at what it shows. It shows the same thing as this. And it's going to... Look at it. Can you see that? So it's going to start from Ubud downwards. But when we add one, it's starting from the second row, not from the first row. Because obviously you are adding the headings. I don't know if that makes sense. So obviously you are adding the headings. Okay, so that is the whole reason why we are doing that. Okay, so that is the only reason why we are doing that. But some will say, um, why don't we leave this and do this? Now, I'm going to explain why we cannot do it. Now, if we don't do it, um, I'm going to show you a quick example here. Uh, let's, let's take this off and let's do equals to if um, H look up I will look up this value right comma the temporary and we skip this value right the row index is going to be 
e10 right um, which obviously we're using a10 here okay and uh, okay we, let's just do this okay comma exact match equals to zero blank okay face look up right here table away i want to explain something to show you okay and this is a10 okay and it's going to be an exact match see what happens there's nothing to look up for remember we have to look up from so we have to look up for something and there's nothing to look up for that is the essence why we did what we did because we have to look up for this value and we don't want to start with this value unlike the vlookup we don't have to necessarily put it in place we don't have, we don't put the headings because of the code it has a lookup value for both tables but for the h lookup in this h lookup it doesn't have so we're using um a10 the numbers and then we're using um the lookup value to look for this and we are incrementing it with one so that it goes it skips the heading and goes to the next one okay so you have one two three four five and the other one is going to be blank why is it going to be blank it's going to be blank because it is if it's equals to zero it should be what blank okay yeah um, that, that's a bit tricky but i felt that you guys needed to just know that save your spreadsheet so let me quickly save click on file save print can i print the values first so let me print the values print up three and I, I want to print the values because i want it to be like this so uh, i just want to do a quick check to see that we're good okay All right, I think we're good to go. Yes. So, um, in web, they won't give us. I didn't even see this. Okay, I didn't see this. So they've, they've given you a clue on what it needs to be like. Okay. So obviously, I, I didn't even see this. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So. Okay, so let's go ahead. The printer fits on a single page. Click on file, click on print. Rows and column headings are not displayed. Contents of all cells are fully visible and can be easily read. I think they are visible and I think they can be easily read. I said make sure your name uh, yes is there. So this is gonna be my printout. It's gonna be my printout three. Two formulas. Click on formulas. Show formulas. I'm going to do this. I want my formulas to show. I'm going to print. Obviously, this is going to be landscape. The rules and column headings. Click on sheets. I checked. The code of all cells are fully visible and can be easily read. 
yes i think they are fully visible and they can be easily read so yes this is going to be my printer too and we are almost done okay any other thing here okay there's one change the data to produce a list of property with a room type of g So, uncheck this. Okay, a root type of T. In Nossa Limbunga. Now they want to ensure that you did not they want to ensure that um you did not manipulate it by typing it okay so if we check in nusa libunga you have the up bar and you have this okay i'm going to print this value Now they said make sure the rows and column content also are fully visible and can be easily read. Copy. Mm. Yes, this will be my printer for. And there we have it, guys. We are done with this paper. And I think I'm just going to open it quickly so we just see what we have done. And for this, they want to see that this two is there. I have not forgotten, guys, because I know they're going to check for it. And it's important that we do it. Okay. So, yes, we're good to go. And uh, please, it's important that you don't just watch, but practice. Practice with this video. Like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Trust me, it has um, amazing contents that you it, it will blow your mind off, okay? Um, from the practical to the theoretical, it is fully loaded. So get yourself in this, to the, into this channel, subscribe for it, and um, I'm gonna see you next time. Bye.